Hello again everyone, this is Shadow123, your host, and we are back for another episode of Final Fantasy VIII. And in our previous episode we dealt with Galabida Garden, we got our new orders, and we also got our new party member Irvine, and we were told to head for Dealing City. So we've jumped on the train, we've arrived at Dealing City and that's where we left it, and that's now where we're going to uh, lift off again. So with that out of the way, let's head to our next destination. So first of all, uh, we need to talk to Riona. And then from here we need to go... Left. We can take the buff, but it's not necessary. I believe we need to go straight across from here. Yep. Yeah. I admit the roads here can get a little bit... Uh, that's what I'm looking for. Confusing. So this is where we need to be. However, he won't let us in until we've got proof that we've tested our skills. So we're to go to the Tomb of the Unknown King and prove that we've been there by bringing back a code number. Now this code number will be random for everyone. It is completely different each playthrough as well. So there's no point in using the code that I get. Given the map of the area, and we'll also buy. Actually, is it worth buying? Yeah, we'll do that as well. How much deal have I got left? Oh, good. It's plenty. Right. So. Now we need to go back the way we just came, to a degree. This time we want to go and veer off to this direction. And you should come to the car renting place. Now you can choose to do this on foot or you can rent a car. I'm going to rent a car to speed this up a little. And also, I should now take the time to uh, point out that this is a really good farming area for those flyers that give off the uh, windmills, so if you want to take the time to farm those, go for it. Other than that, make your way up to the cave just up here. Myself a bit. Oh, there we go. So there's a save point just inside the door. Now I wonder what they're running from. Well, the answer to that is Guardian Force Alert! That's right, we have another Guardian Force to collect here. Now, there are a few steps to getting it, and I'll walk you through it piece by piece. So 
So there's a draw point just over the other side there, opposite the uh, save crystal. And that is float, which can be useful against this particular guardian force, but I'm not going to bother with it. So this is where you get your code from, so mine is 102. Once you get your code, jot that down because you want to remember it. So I'm just going to do that one second, be right back. Okay, so I've jotted down my code, and I'm now going to move on. So, for the first part, you want to be staying to the right. And I know these tunnels all look the same, and you're thinking, well, you're not making any progress, you're just going over the same stuff over and over again, but actually, Believe it or not, I am. And I can show you as well. If I bring up the map, see? It shows you where I am with the X. So, we want to go that way. And we should now have our first out of the two boss fights. So, when you get in here, examine the statue and it will wake up and initiate your boss fight. Now the guardian force in question is called the Brothers. And this one is... Which one to which one? So. Oops, wrong one. I believe this one is uh, Scaredy. That's how you pronounce it. Similar. Either way, it doesn't take long to put them down. on in the second fight he will use a very powerful attack with the mower which does do a lot more damage. Just keep that in mind. I do believe I pissed him off. Okay, so once you've done with your boss fight, uh, backtrack, 
and again we want to stick to the right. I should also point out you will get random encounters in here, I should have pointed that out earlier. Ooh, I'm a villain. Nice. She would do away with that nice and quickly. Most creatures in here are quite weak to uh, ice and lightning, so she right and quite got are your best bets here. There is an ability that one of the Guardian Forces learns later on uh, basically turns encounters off. I believe it's Diablos that has it. So if you're trying to get through an area where you don't particularly want to train and it's starting to do your head in, by all means sling that one on. This is our next stop. Oh, is that all? Oh, this would be a breeze in the park. I don't even need to waste my guardian forces on these. One. Okay, so maybe my physical attacks have improved as well. Perhaps the one I went up against earlier to do my demonstration in my previous video uh, must have been a little bit more resilient to physical attacks. My bad. Okay, so for this bit we need to come down the right hand side. We need to pull the lever here and drop the chain to open the floodgate. Also got this draw point here, which is another float. We'll give that to the owner. Not that we really need it. And we've got one more stop to make before the final event. So once again, keep it to your right.
So for this one, we want to go to this little crankshaft thing here. That should sort that out. Okay. Now, from here, we want to be going. Let's have a look here. We want to go straight forward. Apparently, get into another random battle. Oh, it's another armadillo. This is very nice. Okay, I'm gonna have Shiva annihilate in one hit. Come eventually to this bridge here if you followed my route. And what's this? It's sacred. And this time he's threatening us with his big bro, which is Minotaur. Like I said, this battle is going to be slightly harder because they do hit harder and they've got that mower attack that does a fair amount of damage. You are going to need to use your Guardian forces here. Physical attacks, well, physical attacks will help, I suppose, but it won't be as effective. First hit.
Musk and uh, that sacred out of the way. as much damage as I was expecting it to do. Interesting. asks to join us. We'll also get Sacred's card and Minotaur, uh, Minotaur's card as well. Basically, once you've done that, pretty much go in a straight line and it'll take you straight back out again. If you haven't picked up your code, do so now. We're going to bring the episode to an end here. So feel free to hit the like button, subscribe or leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Yoda123. Till next time.